So how do physical body barriers relate to the immune system? And more specifically, how do the three images I included here relate to that? Well, the reason why I've put these images here is to see if you can make connections between typically non-traditional immune system pictures to see how they do relate. Physical body barriers, well, the fence here is representing that physical barrier, such as our skin. The shoe stepping in gum here, that sticky substance, is going to represent the mucus, which is important for trapping uh, potential invading microorganisms. And the bottle here of the unknown kind of acid poison uh, is going to represent our stomach acid and way we can chemically combat invaders. So more specifically, um, securing our borders, that first line of defense, that skin, those mucous membranes. Uh, you may remember keratin in the skin, component of our hair prevents uh, or acts as a very strong physical barrier to most microorganisms. It's also resistant to weak acids and bases, bacterial enzymes, and toxins. So this keratin is a very strong um, substance and acts as a great physical barrier. In addition, we have our mucus, which if you've ever been a little sick and sneezed, you may notice this kind of sticky, gelatinous kind of material that's called mucus and it provides similar protection to mechanical barriers. Uh, coats the hairs and traps inhaled particles. It's also part of the upper respiratory tract that's ciliated. Cilia sweep dust particles um, from the lower respiratory uh, passages. This kind of sticky substance acts as a way of trapping um, some of these invading organisms that we may take in and breathe in. This sticky substance, just as we feel it sticky, um, is what's trapping those organisms that can then be swept up through and ultimately digested in the stomach. Now the stomach itself has its own line of defense and that produces um, chemicals, <clears throat> particularly we have acid. So our skin is slightly acidic at three to five pH and that is able to inhibit bacterial growth. Keep in mind that our digestive tract, such as our stomach can be hydrochloric acid producing very low pH, sometimes right around the pH of two. Um, sebum earwax contains chemicals also toxic to bacteria, saliva, tears also contains uh, lysozymes, mucus traps microorganisms enter the digestive and respiratory systems. So you can see many of these, um, our body has a lot of these physical ways to combat potential invaders.